Robert Louis Stevenson, 1850-1894. Robert Louis Stevenson was a Scottish writer. He was born in Edinburgh in 1850. Both his father and grandfather were marine engineers. They built lighthouses. It seemed that Robert's future was clearly mapped out as he also intended to become an engineer. Young Stevenson began training at Edinburgh University, but he discovered that he wasn't interested in engineering. In 1871, he changed to the study of law. However, poor health forced him to give up his practice. He was ill with tuberculosis and so had to spend a large part of his life outside Britain. Stevenson began traveling. At first, it was a tour by canoe along the picturesque rivers and canals of France and Belgium. While traveling, he turned to writing and wrote about his unusual journey. Then he went to North America. There, in California, he fell in love with an American woman, Fanny Osborne. They married after her first marriage ended. Fanny had a son, and Stevenson loved his stepson very much. Robert often used to play with Lloyd. Once, while playing, they drew an island in Mark's Spyglass Hill and Skeleton Island on the map. Suddenly, Stevenson got an idea for a novel from the game and began writing. Every evening after that, the family gathered round the table in the sitting room to listen to the next chapter of the novel. At first it was the story of Long John Silver with the title The Sea Cook. It appeared as a serial in a boys' magazine in 1881. Two years later it was renamed Treasure Island and became a complete book. Then, in 1886, Kidnapped was published, to be followed by his celebrated work The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. His success made it possible for the family to travel again. In search of better health, Stevenson and his family sailed to the Pacific Islands, where the climate was good. The family decided to settle in Samoa. They bought a house and lived in the South Seas until Stevenson's sudden death in 1894. Robert Louis Stevenson is buried there, far from his beloved Scotland.